I'm a historian. I began by studying the drinking habits of 19th century Russian peasants. This was fun, and it was also important, because peasant drinkers paid for the army that made Russia a superpower. But I worried that I was missing the big picture. How much did my students really need to know about Russia? Didn't they also need to know about the history of humanity? Or where the earth and stars come from? Or how it all began? Historians don't normally ask these questions. But I wasn't completely crazy. People have always asked the big questions, and we call their answers origin stories. Twenty years ago, with colleagues from astronomy, geology, biology, and many other disciplines, I began teaching a history course that began with the Big Bang 13.7 billion years ago. I called it Big History, and I realised it was really a modern origin story. Looking at the really big picture revealed unexpected connections. How everything we're made of came from exploding stars. How a chance asteroid did in the dinosaurs and allowed our mammal ancestors to flourish. How our ability to share and build upon each other's ideas is what sets us apart from all other creatures. The universe as a whole tends towards simplicity. But look around and you'll see the most astonishingly complex things, like our modern human society of almost 7 billion individuals. Big history reveals how such complexity slowly evolved and how rare and fragile it is. A couple of years ago, Bill called me. He loved big history because it linked different areas of knowledge into one unified story. We talked about the fact that education has become too fragmented and disconnected. Students learn facts and skills, but seldom have the chance to connect them all. This turns them off science, math and even history, because the details alone can't convey the wonder and excitement you get from the big picture. Bill said he wished he had the chance to learn big history when he was young, because it's a framework for learning about anything and everything. Then he asked a question. Would you work with me to get big history taught at high schools around the world? I said yes in a picosecond. That, plus a team of talented people, is how the Big History Project got started. Together, we're creating a free, online and in-class course for high school students. It will tell a story our children need to know as they face the huge challenge of protecting the beautiful and fragile world we have created. Collective learning. One of the most important things big history can do is help the next generation understand what makes us human so different. Understanding this is the key to our future. On the surface, we're a lot like chimps, whales or horses. Yes, we are animals. And yet, can your dog drive a car, play music, make a bomb? Humans can. How did we get to be so powerful? Is it because we're so smart? Well, actually, we're not much smarter than other animals. Crows in Tokyo put nuts under the tyres of cars waiting at traffic lights. When the cars move on, voila, a nut feast. We're different because we're networked. People can share what they have learnt with great precision and information accumulates in the collective memory. So everyone has access not just to what they know but also to what has been learned over generations. And the stock of information keeps growing. We're the only species that can do this. In big history we call this ability collective learning. Its power to generate diverse new technologies and ideas was evident 90,000 years ago when, in Blombos Cave in South Africa, local people shared their knowledge to begin harvesting shellfish, develop delicate new types of stone points, and painted each other with ochre for religious rituals. From Blombos Cave to today is an eye blink in evolutionary time. And yet, collective learning has given us so much. Agriculture, modern industry, symphonies, and the internet. It's also given us the ability to destroy ourselves and the only home we have. Today, we are all linked and learning at faster and faster pace. It's what makes us creative, powerful and 
dangerous. What will it lead to? Can we use this unique gift to build a better world, a world fit not only for us, but everything we share it with? That's just one of the questions Big History explores.